now listening to. Yo, people. TV here. I'm trying to get this damn thing to. There we go. Big Bully TV. Uh, Stan had some comments. He said we suck. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, we ain't <laughs> shit <laughs> when it comes to bite, it bite was, train it was and stuff. A little bit more elegantly than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fine. said, "Motherfucker, get it together, goddammit. Well, what y'all doing? I said, "Shit, my bad, man." <laughs> People don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I'm hanging around you too long, bro. <laughs> that being said, in all seriousness, uh, bike training is very, um, it's unique to watch to say the least, but it's technical. It's so many technicalities because you don't want to hurt your dog, right? And then even more importantly, how your dog bites all the other stuff. But I'm going to let him do, dictate specifically what he's looking for. So when you're working with people, and we've got, you know, Jamarcus is kind of going to be a help in terms of our decoy stuff. And it's, we got Stan to teach us, but this is also good for those who have like, trying to build their own programs up. So hopefully some of this stuff helps, because I'm gonna have him break down how a decoy should be uh, operating, if you would, where to put your arm, what to look for, how much give to give. You don't ever want your dog to hit uh, a, a, a bite pillow or even a, a sleeve at full force without, you know, making sure the dog base, you could take some of that momentum away. It gets interesting, man. It's very intricate, to say the least. So, and anywho, like, subscribe, share. He's getting situated over here. So, try to get you from over there. We'll keep her going forward. Back on that side. So, stay, you just try to stay over this way. Yeah, she should be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely watch the terrain. There's all kinds of shit here. Watch these wires. Down. So like we talked about in the earlier episode, you want to make sure that you're looking at the terrain, there's no glass, no nails, no anything like that, especially if you're going to be coming out places where you don't normally train, and that's one thing about coming out in the world where you got to worry about people throwing bottles, nails, all that kind of stuff. So again, it's all about safety, it's fun, it's cool, all that kind of stuff, but like, we want to make sure the dogs can do it more than just one time, and I don't want to nail in my dog's foot because that's a whole vet visit, and then you can't work them, and that's the whole thing. So again, take a couple minutes before you start, make Make sure the scenery is good even for us you want to make sure you're worried about or you're concerned about where the ground changes so you don't want to roll an ankle and fall and be in front of a dog that's trying to bite you it's just not fun I've, it's happened to me before so again if we can avoid those kind of things we will so check it out you think the ground's good yes sir we're good the little, little like walk through you ready to do some works you ready to work yeah all right so we're gonna start with the bite pillow because it's one of the easier ones. So you technically shouldn't decoy your own dog with a sleeve because the dog's going to learn bad habits. It's just like when you play fight with your kids or anything like that, you're not gonna be hitting that kid hard. So if you only play fought with your kids, when you get in a real fight, you're not gonna be thinking about swinging as hard as you can. So we wanna make sure that dog is going as hard as they can. With Oakley, she's more of a sport dog, so she's real honest and I've done a lot of stuff with her, so I use her a lot to help new decoys or I can show people with stuff because again that's her purpose she's not that she's not that dog dog but she does what she needs to do for what I need her for so when you want her to get interested um, a lot of the times you can start by tossing it around ready watch <laughs> and this is just bringing out that prey we want her like oh I want it I want it just right outside the cheek and get it and then every so often you'll let her scare you off, scare you away from it. Then, the way it's set up, you want to make sure this is going in their mouth. You don't want them hitting here, you don't want them going there. So you got to place it to where you want. So when you come in, you're testing it to see, okay, is that good? Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, ooh I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. And then you go, boom. And then again, you want to pull it back and just let her set. When she bites in, you're gonna work it. Good girl. You can kick, step on her toes, grab them here, grab the feet, yeah, the girl. Good. Oh, good. And you just wanna show her that her going forward relieves the pressure. Ow! Good girl. Yes, sir. And then you let him win. 
And is there a certain number of uh, times you want to let them lose before you let them win? Um, again, I, I like to do things in twos or threes. So make a miss if they're opening that mouth. And with her, if she's like, if you hear her teeth, oh, that means she wants that shit. If yeah. she's just going, eh, nah, we'll build them up a little bit more. But you want them to always throw that perfect punch. So you want to get them to that level that you want them to. Reward that, and now we're working. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And then that whole warm up when you're just throwing the pill out in front of them, is that just like the first time just to get them warmed up? Is that just like an essential warm up and then you don't do it every single time after that? Um, so it's like a crossover. You can use it when it's needed. So if again, if she's not amped up as much as I would like, yeah. boom, we'll go back to that real quick. Because you want to just keep switching their their minds going. It's like, okay, they're chasing that. Oh, I can go there. Oh, I'm going to miss. Because you'll see, sometimes I'm pulling it out there. She's like, shit, I know I can't get it. So why am I even going to try? Yeah. Because she's a smart dog. Yeah. Uh, what was it? The other day when we were doing it on the back tie, yeah. you know, she called Jamil. Yeah. She would back up a little bit and he'd get right in that range. And she'd be like, gotcha, motherfucker. Boom. Yeah. So okay. you want to make sure the dog's not setting you up and all of those kind of things. So you got to be paying attention to that. So you want to make sure that you're always looking at the slack of the, the back tie or the, if the handler has it, you want to make sure there's no slack in the leash. These are all things that you need to pay attention to because that dog, if they have a little bit of slack in that leash, that means you can get your face bit if that dog wants to. So you always got to pay that attention right to those there. kind of things. <laughs> that part right <laughs> there. Shit. Kicking around this one, you pass it around, get it Come on, 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 come Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, I saw that. I felt that. I saw that right there. Holy shit. I saw that line. Damn. You just, woo, right here. Woo. Watch your yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a perfect example. Damn. Make sure you watch your rage. Yeah. So, especially on stuff like this. So, look. She's, she's right here. Yeah. But when I go to the side. And if I went straight back, well, she can bite me now. Yeah. Because now it's at a different angle. Yeah. So like here, you see, as soon as yeah. I take one step, she's in range now. Oh, Woo! Good. Good. So yeah, you always want to make sure you're doing that part right there, man. Oh, bro, I felt the oh, nine. <laughs> hey. Ah. Out. Damn, this all getting far. <laughs> <laughs> She's stretching that hole. Right? Open. Out. <laughs> Nine. Down. That was a little my chin, bro. <laughs> Shit. It would have been good on camera, though. Yeah. Been, oh, man. <laughs> like this, nigga. You too, nigga. That's Spitches, why everything nigga. Wrong. Like, shit. I, I just shaved two of us community guidelines. Oh, man. <laughs> man. That's that part right there, man. That was that big. All right. So. So what we can do is down. Stay. Come here. Set a perimeter. Yeah. Gotcha. Just so you can kind of keep your keep your bearings. Yeah. That's good. I mean, that's good. He ain't gonna need that many bearings. He'll figure it out. <laughs> He'll figure it out, man. <laughs> Sabatini, <laughs> nigga, don't you know? <laughs> oh, man. You ready? Watch. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Got your ass. So, now let her, so let her rebite. So step in. Okay. And then when she bites, hold it steady. There it is. Now work it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now is there a certain technique in terms of what I should pull? Left, right, straight? I mean, it's just kind of filling it out. So if you see that she's not all the way in the back, so like you can turn her head, see it's not all the way yeah. there. So when you go, you'll slap, you'll go dead. And it's like, here, just 
Let it step right in, and then when she does, you want to come back out. Gotcha. And then it's there, good girl. You can work to pull her up, and then. And it's just about being like smooth. You always want to keep that tension because yeah. if it goes slack, she's going to bite again. Gotcha. So you want to keep that tension, and you can just kind of. <laughs> Atta girl, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby, baby. Come on. Yes, come on. Come on. Yes. Good girl, come on. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work, 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 work. Good girl. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get your markers back in the gym, boy. Woo! <laughs> Alright, get that cardio going. Come on. You look way out, boy. Come on. So it's black. I'm hot. <laughs> hot. Let her win. Boy, you been black your whole life. Anybody trying to hear that? <laughs> light skin. <laughs> light, light skin. skin. I didn't like the skin <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's, little, on now. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the bite pillow again. You just get used to your, your body holding that. It's away from you, it's a little safer, so now we're gonna put the sleeve on. Out. Camera, as you see, people's always rolling. Uh, I like to shoot full blown episodes and just keep the thing kind of, you know, boom, 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 zed, whatever, whatever. So, so now, <laughs> same thing here, but instead of like, like doing this, now you got to use your arm. So it's going to be like. Here you go. So watch. So basically, I know she can only get to about here, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna tease at that point. Gotcha. If I come over here, say, hey, I know where she's at. Yeah. And if you keep it closer to your body, if yeah. you start hanging it out there, she can get caught. You can pull your shoulder out, all of that stuff. That goes back to the curls and yeah. shit that Trevor uh, be talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. You wanna keep it close? Oh. And just be faster than her. But it's not about being fast, it's about being precise. Yeah. So I'm not moving super fast. I just know exactly where she's at and when I need to move it. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a hard concept to understand yeah, no. because it's not like, I'm moving like this because if you move like that, she's gonna, she's she's gonna, gonna do a weight. Shit. Yeah, she'll just wait. Oh, that was a little handle right here. Yeah, there's a handle. <laughs> so she's trying to keep it close to your body. So right here. So yeah, I'm here, she's here. Here, gotcha, I'm here, gotcha, and that's as far as you can go, so I'm here, gotcha, okay. Oh, <laughs> damn. So let her work your bite, go step in. Oh yeah, good, good. Because if she works for it, if she yeah. gets it, now we just gotta make sure she gets that good bite. Because that's your job as a decoy to make sure that dog has a bite that they're supposed to. Yeah. They have confidence in it. And we don't want to teach them that a front mouth bite is what they get. Gotcha. If she jumps up there and grabs that shit, she knows that if she can pull it back in uh -huh. and she can fuck it up. Good gotcha. girl. So then just always make sure when if they do go in, they make sure they get the full grip. Yes. And that's what we want to win them on is yeah. that full grip. Gotcha. You don't want to teach them that a shallow yeah. grip or a weak grip gets them that win. You gotcha. watch when they're working, when they go through all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Good girl, good girl, yes sir. Good, yes sir, baby, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's gonna win. Yeah. So let go of the handle. Now she knows she's winning. Anything else you should be focused on, because I think that's a good start. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, you don't want to give him too much information, because then he's going to start thinking. Like, right now, he's thinking more, and that's why she's getting those slight... Uh, Let me see this. Let me see this. Okay, let me check this out. Nine. Out. I know one of the things Stan told me... Hey, man. Did they got a large one? <laughs> hey. Can't even get his arm in here, people. Motherfucker. Motherfucker's too big. Look at that shit. shit. Baby, he's motherfucker. I can't barely hide this. Stuff my arm in his hole. I need a regular size one. They got a normal size one. A regular size. People, Paquito people. <laughs> Paquito means small in Spanish if you didn't know that. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what we doing here. This is interesting. So, the uh, reason why I'm putting this on people, I said I wouldn't get bite, but I like Nala, to be clear. 
And I think Nala's gonna be, if she's anything like a mother, if you've watched Maya, Maya can get on something like, I'm holding an 80 pound plus dog over my head, and that bitch will not let go of a burlap sack. Now, where I didn't work enough with Maya, there's an opportunity to motivate and really keep her daughter, like, at this level, we're trying to take all of our dogs. Stan said it best, you do not wanna be your own dog's decoy. So, you know, if I gotta get in here every now and then to see how far, you know, uh, my kennel partner per se pushes his dog, then I got to sleep at the crib. I just wanna, you know, keep everybody safe for one. But even more important, practice makes perfect. Uh, and I do so far. I like what I think she, if, if he does right by her, she'll become something. So, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do, got to. All right, so same thing. Yeah. You don't wanna be like bending down too much. You kinda wanna make him come up. Yeah. So, let's see what you do. Oh, watch. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, you gotta get stronger than me. I'm not there. Good. Now let her rebite. There you go. Good girl. Work Good girl. So let her rebite again. Go. Yeah, I'm more aggressive, so I'm not afraid of these dogs. Yeah. Good girl, Oakley. Good girl. And again, he can work an older dog like this. <laughs> Younger dogs, you don't want to do that too much. Because you gotta build the confidence up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and like you said, you got a little bit more muscle than the more average person. So you can't be too, too rough. And I see that. I'm like this. I'm like, oh. my mind goes to, I'm from the ghetto. So we grab a dog. In case they start acting crazy. We're like, get that dog out of here. <laughs> and no, there's a time and a place. So like yeah. with Breg's dog, that's the kind of stuff we're going to do with him because he's a finished police dog. And that's what uh, somebody's going to actually do. They're so going to try to kill him to get off of him. Yeah, eventually. So in practice, when we're suited up, you know, we'll be kicking at the dog. We're not giving them bites, throwing chairs and shit at him. But that dog's been, you know, brought Tradition. up to that point. And even if he does do something that it says he's not going to be completely successful at, the decoy's job is to make him successful. So if I throw a chair at a dog and he kind of runs away, now it's my job to teach that dog that you shouldn't be scared of that chair. Because that chair ain't shit. You can still go get that bite. Uh -huh. So it's all about building that dog's confidence. There's a difference between a competition decoy and a training decoy. Okay. Well, you heard it first, people. <clears throat> Stan wanted to put us on game because in this world, you know, my goal is to build some stuff where I could just go spend some more time with my dogs yeah. and, and not be bothered with none of you fucks. <laughs> Except so, on social media. <laughs> and not even there. Not even there at some point. I just stopped posting. But what happened to it? I got access to everything I fucking need. And I don't need people. You know, you need them. So you want to help motivate them, which is what this is all for in the first place. Yep. Respectfully, uh, but at the same time, you know, I just need my dogs. <laughs> I just, I just, I just need my dogs. So, we appreciate you putting us on game. We know the perimeter thing. We know to back tie your dog. We know to pace yourself. Build the confidence up. Get your dog engaged. Loud noises, high noises. Kick, play. Don't kick the shit out your dog. <laughs> and keep it moving, people. And as always, take care of your dogs. Yep.